Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about the the slide command and, and modifying tracking and routing. So you can see I've kind of got a bus routed here, and maybe I, I want to kind of move some of these tracking over a bit. So what we can do is we can use the the slide command. There's a, there's a root slide command here, um, and I've got lots of different options. The bubbles, everything's turned off at the moment. You can see that. So what you'll see is when I when I select a, a, a track to kind of slide, I can create a DRC. You can see it changing colours, and if I was actually to, to click to confirm that, I would then get a DRC. So. Let's just do an oops and get that back again. Now, having the bubble off can be quite useful in some instances if you want to kind of fine tune something or you don't want to use the shove and hug. Um, but I prefer to use the shove and hug. So let's actually kind of let's see what this does. So let, let's turn the bubble mode onto shove preferred and then take the track and I'm going to start to push. And you can see I can start to push the tracks to, to create a bit of space. Now, I've got this via here and you can see the tracking kind of coming around here. And maybe I don't want that to, to kind of behave like that. So if I just then just do an oops again. Uh, this time I'm going to say let's let's shove some buyers so let's have full shove command and we'll do a full smooth as well then I take the same track again and we start to push it along and you'll see this time it actually starts to push the via it's going to show me what it's doing on the bottom of the board so it's obviously affecting a track on the bottom of the board with the red and we'll keep going a little bit further and then it's actually going to push the via out of the way completely so I can just continue and smooth my routing so there's a there's the idea of the kind of the the shove function if we then turn this to kind of hug only um, let's push let's just bring this trace out here for now uh, if I then say hug only you can see it's actually going to hug to the DRC so I'll get get it to a kind of a motion and it's actually going to hug based on the DRC spacing set up in constraint manager so you, you got some options for kind of the shove and hug this also works from a routing point of view so if I was to go to, to the root connect command or the etch edit mode um, let's just pick a trace so let's take this trace here if I'm in, in shove preferred mode, I can kind of try and push the, the tracking out of the way. Um, let's just actually go around somewhere completely different just to kind of give you an idea of what the shove does. You can see it's actually going to start to shove the tracking out of the way as I, as, I, as I move along. And again, if I change that to, to hug preferred or hug only, the same scenario is going to happen. So it's going to kind of hug to this trace here. I'm just kind of just rooting along and it's manually just going to hug based on the, the settings that we have. That concludes.